All right, welcome to day three. You're almost halfway through this thing. How amazing is that? Today we're gonna to focus on strengths and weaknesses. We are all about the F-shame mentality, acceptance fully of who we are. And so look, we're not perfect and we're not good at everything. And that's okay. Again, on this exploration, we need to identify the things that we're weak at and the things we're strong at so we can work harder on what we need to improve and then rely more on the things we're already good at. So day three, some of you have already made it to day three and you haven't had anything to drink and that is powerful. I want you to write out today, what is it that made it possible for you to abstain? You see, a lot of people who come to me haven't had three days without drinking in a very long time in their life. So if you're doing this right now, I need you to understand why is it working? Because it's those strengths that I'm gonna want you to rely on later on when we do the deeper work. And for some of you who maybe had a drink or two or three or maybe you feel like you fell off the wagon, remember, the learning is the important key. So don't drop off. Do this here right now and write what felt like it made it impossible to resist the drink. This is your big low-hanging fruit. This is the stuff we're gonna have to get to later in order to be able to fix your drinking problem forever and ever and ever. So go through this exercise and identify again over the day, your journal. What is it that's making me want to drink? What is it that's making it feel impossible to not drink? Write this stuff out so you can create your overall list. The pro tip here for today is the following. A lot of people miss this. You've struggled with this before and you've tried to deal with it. And you've had more success sometimes and less at other times. I want you to write out the last one, two, or three times in your life that you try to reduce or quit your own drinking. What worked for you back then? See, a lot of people, because they didn't get it perfectly, let's say you drink a six pack a day or a little bit more than that and you were able to cut in half but not fully quit, people consider that a failure because our industry, the addiction industry and the entire treatment world has somehow made us believe that if you're not perfect, you're a complete failure. But I would argue that being able to cut back is a success, sometimes a massive success. Right, we've had clients at Ignited that cut their drinking by 90, 95%. They go from drinking 13 bottles in a week to drinking a half a bottle, three drinks. That's massive success. So the question for me to you today, look back at some of the experiences that you've had before and what has worked for you already. You're gonna to wanna to implement some of those things, some of those tips, some of those environmental influences into this experiment right here, right? We're learning how to create the stack, how to create the tools and how to create the environment around us that allows us to beat our drinking problem. So do that, think about the past, think about what's happened over the last three days and continue creating that list. You're already almost halfway through, right? Three days already complete of this thing. Congratulations, I will see you tomorrow.